we'll head over to the left back to the origin screen and we're going to head uh, close to where we were for dungeon three uh, now dungeon three if you remember was in the uh, dead forest part uh, I, I'm not sure that particular part has the specific name, which is why I didn't name it that. I don't think I named it that. I did, and it is not part of that, and I apologize, but uh, the, uh, the name is The Lost Forest. Very famous Zelda puzzle. And if I remember right, this is actually required to beat the game. You have to be able... Oh, thank you. You have to be able to go through this in order to get an item in order to beat the game. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, definitely, definitely helps. Oh, the shield's so good. Shield's so good. All right, so here's where the old woman was selling potions again. So let's head left from here where we can find a whole ton of moblins. And once again, it's like it's a dead forest. I don't think it's considered part of the lost forest i think that it is something else but uh, for the time being we'll head south from here and remember this is where we uh went to go to dungeon number three which is just right up here why am i chasing you i don't there we go I don't know why. I don't know why. I felt compelled to. All right, so east of here is dungeon number three. We're going to head west through the southern path because the southern path is the better one, I guess. Well, it is in this particular case. Maybe not every time. But we'll head west through here. And see, this is why I hesitate to call it the Lost Woods because, like, you exit the Lost Woods, the Lost Forest, in order to get back in it, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few guys here. But down they all go. Once again, just take your time. The more I rush it, the more mistakes I make. Okay, so from this screen, head north, and you'll end up on this screen, uh, which kind of looks like a flag, if you ask me. You know, one, of the, the, one of the Scandinavian flags. <laughs> but like, blowing to the left. Yeah. Either way. Okay, so these are the Lost Woods. I call them the Lost Woods because you can very easily not well, get stuck here forever. Um, I forget what happens when you go the wrong way. Let's go the wrong way. That's not what I expected. Uh, let's go left. Yeah, they're uh, okay. They don't even tell you. Ooh. No, you end up on the same screen. Okay, if you go the wrong way, you end up on the same screen. Uh, so the way that you want to go is up, then left, down, then left. And when you've done it right, you get the little jingle. We're up against more Lionels. Remember, we took these guys on a while ago. These guys can be tough. Just staying away from them. Staying away, but at least my magic shield will block their swords. Hey, got a pea hat. Hooray. That, that's not the way that I wanted that to happen, but I got back up to full. There we go. Yeah, like I said, it's so much easier with the blade beam, so I try to stay at full health as much as I can. Why am I waiting around to kill this guy? I don't know, but down he goes. So that's the secret to the Lost Woods. Up, left, down, left. Um, if you don't do that, then you'll be stuck in the dark. All right, more. Jeez, more you guys, huh? Why? Why? Just for the record, they did one full heart of damage, even though I have the blue ring on. These guys are strong. Or at least the blue one did, I think. I don't think these guys did that. Either way, we're going to head up here where we can find the graveyard now. I believe you can kill these enemies, but it just takes a ton of work, and it's not necessarily worth it. I'm suddenly blanking on which gravestone it is. Hold on! Okay, I think I got it. Uh, it's actually not on this screen. There's so many graves. And if you guess wrong, um, the, the one of those comes out. 
I have always called them ghosts. I'm sure they have a name that is not ghosts, but that's always the name I've gone by. All right, so we're gonna head to the right after the first one that we saw. Might as well take this guy out. He is quite tough though. And then we'll head up here. So right up. God, they take a lot of hits. And up one more time. So we're in the top right corner, so to speak. And here, it is this gravestone there. And we can get the Master Sword. Oh, it's twice as powerful as the White Sword, which makes it four times as powerful as the Wooden Sword. All right, since we're already in the area, we might as well go somewhere else, uh, which is over to the right here. We're going to ignore these guys for a while. Well, the, the stairs, I mean. These guys uh, we can easily take out now that we have the Master Sword. So good. Still can't, still can't hit them. All right, so we're going to go right through there. Ignore all of these. Go up the right ladder. Or the right staircase, I should say. Take on more of these guys. Notice that we can take them out with one hit now. They're so damn powerful. And they don't even drop anything. All right, so here. It is this one, isn't it? <laughs> this screen of Armos. It's this guy right here. It is indeed. Here we can get the power bracelet. And we are filling this thing up. Look at all those things we have. Oh, things are looking nice for us. So that is what we came out of our way to get. A new sword, a power bracelet. I don't think we necessarily, I don't think we need the power bracelet just yet. Uh, but we have uh, done quite a bit of work, got even more upgraded than we were before. I do want to show off a little bit of the master sword, so. Let's, uh, let's attack this guy. Or not. Can we not hit him? We were hitting him before. Forget it, I'm leaving. Maybe you can't, uh, maybe you can't defeat the ones that you spawn. Yeah, that might be it. Still takes three hits, but if you remember last time it was five, so. Definitely an improvement. Definitely an improvement. So that is what we came for. So we are ready to leave. Take on more lines. They still do one, uh, one whole heart of damage, though, don't they? There we go. Gotcha. That is all I care about. Just get in my whatever to make me strong again. I'm gonna save that in case I get hit. Freaking bee hats, man. That and these guys keep on shooting at me. Yeah, just find another one just in case. All right, let's avoid them. I don't have time to take on P-Hats. We're, we're heading back. So that was the trick to get through the Lost Woods. Was up, left, down, left. To get out, I think we just need to go right. Yep, that was it. That was it. And then down. And then we're, we're in the northern part here. And then we can head up here. I don't really need to take these guys on. You know what? I like this screen. I'll, I'll take on the enemies here. But we have completed more work. And then we have, I believe, the best sword in the game. Unless I'm mistaken. I'm suddenly doubting myself about everything in this game. Um, but uh, I believe the, that's the Master Sword. Yeah, it's, that's the best weapon. A sword, at least. So we'll move forward. Assuming that I'm right. And we are happy to get it. But as you might be able to tell, we have enough room for uh, 16 hearts. We can get all the rest inside of dungeons from this point. So we have four more dungeons to take on. That would be the best guess, I would say. But for the time being, we made it back to the origin screen. We're ready to move out to level number five. Now that we do have those upgrades, specifically the Master Sword, we are ready to head to dungeon number five, uh, which is one screen to the right and then 
north until you can't go north anymore. Because I don't need to, like, farm anything anymore, I have enough rupees. I have enough everything, really. I'm full on bombs. I'm full on life. I have enough rupees. Uh, we're just going to ignore all these enemies. Plus, it'll make it go faster, which is always nice. So, north... As far as you can go, then left once, then north again. This should look familiar. We got a heart piece this way, if I remember correctly. And we'll just avoid all these rocks as we go further to the east. Now, you could have gone west there. I don't know how I avoided getting hit, but uh, we, you could have gone west there, but uh, we're not going to. And we're going to make it to this screen. Now, this screen is one further than we have been before. This is a screen that actually uh, loops, just like the Lost Woods. So what we are going to do is do a little puzzle once again. The puzzle this time is a lot simpler. It's north. And you just keep on going north until you hear the jingle. I believe the magic number this time is four. So once we get up to the top here, we should hear it. We do. Now step forward and stop. That guy's a dick. He, he's always a dick. He usually gets me. That's why he's a dick. Okay, so we have now made it to level number five. Now level number five is actually kind of complicated. Uh, it requires moving around quite a bit, back and forth, that kind of thing. Uh, and it's kind of difficult, so I'm, I'm hoping for the best here. Uh, but the first thing that we're going to do is encounter some new enemies. These are Poles voices. Uh, these guys are actually very difficult. Keep your distance from them if you can. Uh, almost to the point of using uh, bow and arrow, but uh, you actually want to save your money uh, for this particular dungeon. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty good on money, but I still kind of want to uh, just keep my distance. Uh, for killing all of them, you get a key. This is a bombable wall up here, but there's another way in that I think is preferable for this particular dungeon. Uh, we are going to need bombs for this, so I'm hoping to uh, just kind of save those. All right, we'll head up here. We are going to need the candle for this. Might as well light this guy on fire while we're at it. These are mummies, also known as Gibdos. I don't know. They're, they've always been mummies to me, but they are Gibdos. As far as I remember, at least that's... that's how I remember them being named. Well, we got a bomb there anyway. Okay, so uh, we're going to head through here. You don't need to do this, but... Over here, you can find the old man. Dig Dogger hates certain kinds of sound. This is kind of the sound dungeon. Uh, the Poles' voices as well... Uh, also hate sound, but it's not a sound that we can actually do in the game. Uh, the bomb wall is down here. Paul's voice are very interesting uh, because the North American manual. Uh, the North American manual said that Paul's voices hate loud sounds. Um, ooh, Dodongos. We're going to avoid them for the time being and, and head through here. Uh, for a long time, people didn't really know what that meant. As we get the map, I'm going too quickly to tell the story about Poles' voices. Um, we'll, we'll deal with the Dodongos now. You have to be careful. and you, you have to be careful with your bombs. You only got eight. You're going to need six. Uh, but um, Poles' voices. It said they did not like loud sounds. and People didn't really know what that meant for a long time. But as it turns out... Uh, oh, I missed one. I missed two? This is not good. I need to be perfect here now. Absolutely perfect. Uh, the Famicom, the, the, the Japanese version of the Nintendo, uh, had a microphone on the second player controller. And if you use that... Oh, all right. If you use that against the Poles' voices, yeah, we get bombs at the end of this. <laughs> if you use that on the Poles' voices, uh, then they would receive damage. You could yell them, yell at them, and, and do damage to them. Uh, but of course, here in America, we didn't have that, so it was just kind of a weird little thing that it said in the instruction manual because they just literally translated the instruction manual. They didn't really look into it all that much. 